Training Center, Steve Brinkman. Do you know what Mr. Brinkman does in his spare time? Um, I don't know, doesn't he like fight or something? Yeah. Can he like wrestle or something? Fight or something. <laughs> yeah, he comes in with black eyes quite often, which we, we hope it's from wrestling. <laughs> 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 So your agenda in your groups today is one, remember we converted this into a modern language, so modernize, I'll spell that for you, the language of the scene. All right, you've got the breakdowns for that, it's the first off. You should already have a pretty good idea of doing that. Yes, I do want some in-its, yes, bruv, all that type of stuff is cool with me, things. <laughs> I think that if you have any sort of um, extracurricular or, or additional focus in your life, you're going to be much better at your job, much better at your career. I find that having time away from, from school, away from schoolwork, and away from focusing on being a teacher really tends to help how I approach teaching because it's fresh and new. It's something I look forward to doing every day. And on the flip side, it also helps with my fighting because it gives me another focus. It's a time that I can just turn my mind off of fighting, off of the nerves of having a fight. And uh, yeah, it, it tends to it tends to work both ways. I think anything that you do extracurricular wise really helps your career. I was like, with, uh, with the students, you don't want to, the same as you don't usually want to bring your work home with you, you know, you really don't want to have to bring all of this into the classroom. There's no reason, you know, every once in a while, yeah, I show up with nicks and cuts and bruises. You know, if the students ask, of course, it's just training kind of thing, but, you know, I don't think it's any different than, you know, get a cricket ball in the eye or anything. I think they take more yeah. positive things yeah. from this and then, than anything else. Yeah. Like they just see it as positive work ethic and hopefully, you know, when they're in, in their football matches or they're revising for their exams, they'll think that, you know, if I'm pushing myself on the side, they should be doing it too. Inside and outside of education. I hope those things, those things really work and shine through. Smash him, Steve! He's really good at what he does, so I'm quite confident that he'll be alright. Um, he's got six wins so far, so hopefully this one will be another win. He's a good teacher, yeah. yeah he, he's good. He's more interesting than some of the other teachers. Mm. And you actually learn something, yeah. so it's been interesting. He's very humorous, very funny. He's interesting to... He sort of got me interested in English because he's quite... I always look forward to English now because sort of, he's always fun to be around, to be honest. He's a good teacher. Yeah, he's alright. He's quite relatable and he's like friendly. Mr. Brimman is a very experimental teacher. He does things differently to all my other teachers. Well, he's quite a good teacher, isn't he? Yeah, all of his lessons are different. Yeah. Come on! Come on! I think I'm going to go lie down. No, 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 you better stay. Why? 
will be easier than just waking you up again. But I do have to do my job. You think um, it's my fault, don't you? How is it her fault? Well, Eva Smith wrote a letter that connects her with it. Yeah, well, I told my dad about that, and he said it wasn't a big deal, and I do feel really bad about it, it's my fault. Of course it was. Scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision for the winner and the new. Guys, I gotta tell you, you got. Fucking, you're a little sore, are you? No, it's all because of you guys, fucking James. Thanks so much. Thank you. 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 I see the challenge and I want to sink my teeth into it. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks to Dean for uh, for showing me that there's a whole new world out there for MMA and a place where you've got to dig down deep and you can second guess yourself because the mind does a lot of things. I was second guessing myself. I was like, fuck, will this ever end? You know? I just, you know, I, when I was almost in that triangle the first time, I was like, shit, who's gonna take it? Could you just give into it and this will all be over. But then again, what did I work for? So I'm glad I dug deep and I fought back and I won that fight. But you know, you win it every second. <laughs> and that's how you can lose it too. You can lose it to second. So you've got to win it every second. And that's what I learned tonight. I can't wait for the other challenges. I can't wait for the other three round fights. It doesn't make him a different teacher. It just makes him more interested and you want to talk to him. Um, yeah, it's, it's excellent to see, see the forest for the trees. Ali comes out to meet Frazier, but Frazier starts to retreat. If he backs up another inch farther, he'll end up in a ringside seat. Ali swings with a left, he swings with a right. Just look at this kid now carry the fight. Ali, sing Ali swings with his right, what a beautiful swing. But the swing launches for him, clean out of the ring. And Ali's still looking, and the referee wears a frown, because he can't start co counting till Foreman comes down. <laughs> no, it went like this.